Hello and welcome back to City Skylines Global. This is my favorite series. I love this. It's so much fun building on the world. Um, so last time I asked you guys where I should move. Should I go to America or move into Asia? And you guys said that I should be moving into Asia and try to somewhat realistically follow the actual, like path of civilization i actually have an idea i think when i do go to america i'm going to make it only accessible by a uh, boat and plane we'll keep it completely uh separated when it comes to roads we'll be realistic uh, and then we'll get some good use out of public transport other than that look at that we can now move into this huge flat area we can build up some massive massive city along China uh, really pump up that population uh, we've got a bit of Turkey now we've always now uh, well we've had for a while uh, Western Europe a lot of cool stuff we can take advantage of but we're gonna give the city some time to grow uh, right now we have a ton of residential demand I wonder if I can make a little bit of Spain into a nice area We'll connect this a bit more strongly, and then we've got France over here, which we're gonna we're just gonna flatten a little bit so that it's actually like possible to build on. We're we're trying our best here, trying our best to flatten out Europe to the point where it's usable. I I'm trying not to get rid of too much detail in the countries too. There we go. So now we've got. We've got France, we've got Spain, and we've got, well, Portugal here. And we can move up to the UK soon. And what we're going to do is we're just going to get a national road here. And I guess I'll break it right off from here. Um, oh, actually, I have a plan. If I do this, this is kind of risky, but I like it. I like it. This is going to be perfect. If we do this, we can go over here. Then we can bring it down here. Great. So that's how we're getting uh, getting into Europe. Wow, Spain looks really, really rectangular right now. We're going to fix that. We're just going to make it look a little bit more... Not enough soil, huh? We're gonna, I'm just gonna, maybe that's how Spain is actually, shit, uh, yes, things just don't look right right now, uh, world map, let me just fix Spain, it's looking a little bit dumb, um, Europe, Europe map, so that's Spain, Spain is gonna look a little bit more a little bit more, that's the point there, so that should go like that. And it should come in a tiny bit here. And a bit more here. Ah, good enough. I'm, I'm not gonna freak out over it. Okay, so now, what we're gonna do is we're going to set it up. So, we have right lane going in. Now the left lane is going to be a little bit more complicated, but I can pull this off. So that's a little bit broken, but it's a proof of concept. It is a proof of con- Oh, we broke the highway! <laughs> West Virginia, <laughs> country road. <laughs> okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna, it has to go this way to start. So this is gonna be a slightly complicated road. Uh, this is gonna be slightly messy. It's gonna curve around all the way back. And now it should be able to go straight from here to there. And then, oh, look at that. That is so perfect. Wait, it's supposed to go the other way. I'm stupid. Uh, this one's supposed to go this way. 
Okay, you know what? That's not that bad. That may actually look a little bit more normal. So we can start turning it like here. What was I doing? There we go. There we go. That connects. Now there's a way to get over to Spain. Where we're just going to plop a whole lot of residential. Spain, you are going to be very residential. Here we go. We'll just make sure that it's not a giant, super tall uh, bridge. And then that's a little bit too far up. You gotta pull that down a bit. And we'll put some high density here. Europe will be pretty high density. Bam, very nice. So that's our first move into a uh, European country. Very exciting. We'll get some power across for them too. They may want some electricity. Ta-da! Come on! Grow, grid. Grow! Ah, my mic. My mic just died on me. Okay, there we go. Looking good. And that's dropping that residential demand. And now we've got such a nice little area in Spain. Of course, the district is going to be very simple. Just going to be called Spain. Great. Spain's looking great. We've got such a nice highway connection there. That actually worked out perfectly. Education, we'll go ahead and we'll put a school, or actually two in Spain. Um, we'll put a high school. We'll make sure Spain is very well educated. There we go, and for the future, we can go ahead and snake a road up here, going into more mainland Europe. Getting highways in here is going to be really challenging, but I don't really think we're going to need highways anyway. It's not giant like Africa. We can't fit all too much in there anyways. We aren't going to have that many people on each road. So it's not as big of a problem. We need to keep expanding in Africa too. Uh, lots of work to be done. Uh, we need police presence. Let's see what people are complaining about here. Prisons. Okay. Yep. Let's build a prison. Where's Australia? Uh, we can't make a proper prison quite yet. <laughs> we'll put it in Saudi Arabia. They'll have to work in their oil fields. This entire area is just being destroyed by me. Oof. Oof. I'm just removing Yemen and then putting it back and then removing it again. I hope that it'll let me put a prison here. That's that's the slope right there it's complaining about. So if I just raise this a tiny bit. And get rid of these buildings. Then put it right here. Darn it. You know what? We'll actually put a little dirt road... Specifically so that we can put this prison down. Yes, there we go. Yemen is now a prison. Fantastic. No no offense to people who live in Yemen, but your country is now a prison. Wow, look at that. Such a fancy prison. Okay, fantastic. Wow, look at them all go- Oh, they're, they're working in the oil fields. Great. Fantastic. Okay, next up, what do we have to do? Uh, that prison is definitely going to be relocated to Australia at some point. There's too much meme potential in it. Okay, so, next up, the question is, what are we going to do with these highways? Um... And the answer is we're going to really redo them. We'll do that. Look at that. We've got such a nice area to sneak some roads under. Fantastic. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to here. And then we're going to do the same with our train. Although we need a train station to have trains. 
But, you know what? We're gonna put this down because we can actually transfer a whole lot of goods from Saudi Arabia straight onto the rails. That is probably a smart idea. Increase our production capacity. Darn it, Anarchy, you're supposed to make this easier. There we go. That is, that is very forgiving there. That's not even steep there. And there. And now it's gonna work, because I gave it perfect conditions. Great. Fantastic, and now we just have to rezone everything because I broke it all again. Now people can go here, which is fantastic because after that, we're gonna go ahead and get this, and I'm gonna redo this road because I've got a plan once again. Me and my plans. There we go, looking good. Now we go ahead, we go to the highways, so we grab that two lane national highway there it is we're gonna make sure it's slightly raised and then we're gonna drop it like that great the the train is going to go under it like that it's gonna go under here not that ridiculously though I think I could just make a straight jump from here I just go straight over here there we go and then BAM look at that it's a little bit bumpy gonna be honest but it works and honestly if I delete this section I can probably make it a whole lot better by going ahead and clipping here to here and now doing it oh there we go beautiful one has a thing and one doesn't but that's okay look at that we now have a working freight thing <laughs> um great nobody's using it yet but they will be it's a great way to send our freight, and now we've unlocked our railway, which we're going to go ahead and... Bam. And now... Bam. And finally... Bam! <laughs> Great! All together, everything's looking pretty good. Those aren't touching, no? Okay, so that's good enough. Now we can begin building in China. How exciting. We're gonna make this so packed. So packed with residential, industrial, commercial. It's all going to be high density. There is, there's going to be so many people in China. Here we go. I'm actually going to be very strategic with this, too. I'm going to plan for this. We're actually going to take a national uh, national road off of the highway. And we're going to do this a few times to give us some good spots to enter and exit. Now, I usually don't do a strategy like this, but I realize that China is special in that we're going to be packing so many people into such a small space. There's going to be some farms over here. Um, oh no, that's farmland over there. So this, wait, this has a ton of mining potential. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, um, that too. Hmm. Well, let's start. We'll have a mining area somewhere at some point, but right now I want to focus on building up a huge reg uh, residential area. And 
And I'm going to make this kind of look good. That doesn't look very good, does it? No. No, it does not. We're going to redo this whole thing. And I want to keep the national roads. Because they're very good at doing what they're supposed to do. I think instead that I should have, like, a backbone for most of the traffic to take. Like that. And then I should be splintering off of it. And of course, to go into it, we will use these national roads still. So we'll have these kind of connect in. They should be raised, shouldn't it be, uh, they? Um, actually, I could make little, like, blocks. That would actually probably work pretty well if I went bam, 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 and took advantage of these little squares it's making. I'm trying to think of, like, creative ways to deal with the traffic we're going to have. Okay, and then we're gonna come here, down, and again. And that brings us to a very nice amount of space. And now we're going to try to figure out how we're going to use the rest of this. Which I think if I just do this, and kind of copy, plop that, plop that, plop that, plop that, plop that, plop that. Plop that. What is that? Oh, not that. Plop that. Look at that! We can fit so much into here. It's a very nice area. Got a bit of abandonment because we don't have enough workers, apparently. Having worker issues. It's okay, we're about to have a lot of, uh, a lot of labor coming in very soon. We've got a whole lot of people that are going to be joining the city and the workforce. There we go, we're gonna connect them up to the water system. And there we have China, or somewhat, Asia. China plus a lot of other countries in Asia. I'm saying China for the most part, even though China's a bit more to the right. I mean, yes, we are including a bit of China here, all this. Uh, over here is going going a bit more towards like Pakistan and stuff but you guys know what I mean for the most part bam we are going to make a whole lot of residential area man this is going to really jump our population And that's the plan. It's no mistake. We mean to do this. We want that population to go up very quickly. To, up, uh, to supply the city with jobs. Now we just gotta get electricity, which should be a simple... Line going up through here. We can just... Grab it from Saudi Arabia. Who's making the power anyways, so... That works. That definitely works. We have more businesses moving in. We're having some issues keeping all of the businesses working, but... We're trying our best. I think that building up another large... A residential area in Africa is going to be necessary and this area right here has pretty much zero use other than residential so let me quickly grab an Africa map figure out what that lands on the most uh, that looks to be so there's Somalia there's Kenya this is mostly Tanzania mostly 
so we're just gonna call it Tanzania because it's mostly in the right place like I said we can't get full accuracy here but we can get we can do something oh it's too dark to work now so we'll give it some ah the Congo is burning down again they need to stop doing that stop burning down that's an order I'm gonna put that down there to make them happy and I'm gonna actually put down a helicopter fire depot over here I figure that'll help out with all the fires they're having. Um, oh my! The entirety of Africa is gonna burn down at this rate. Jeez, good thing we bought those helicopters. They are, uh, yikes! The fire is just spreading so quickly. There's only so much we can do. Poor country, <laughs> poor continent keeps getting burned down. Saudi Arabia, with all the oil, hasn't had any issues with that. None at all. Nobody is really using the train option. I find that interesting. Is it just not properly hooked up? Is that why? Pretty sure it is. Yeah, that's hooked up. Hmm. I don't know, maybe they can only go this way? We'll try just connecting this up, just to make sure. Well, Technically, you can go both ways now. Oh, we get a nuclear power plant, floating cafe, cargo hub, and stuff. Oh, those are all very useful. Oh, a cargo hub. Excuse me, that may be better. Well, we are definitely going to look into that. Let's see, cargo hub. Yeah, that's the fancy one. If we get one of those, that'll go straight onto the water routes. That's fantastic. We'll actually replace this next time. But that's going to be all for this time, guys. We have built up a ton in China. Uh, well, Asia. I'm going to keep saying China, annoyingly. Um, but we have built up quite a bit. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. Don't forget, there is a poll on our channel's community center for what series you want to see in the future because my schedule is being remade for the school year. Bye!